Welcome to another episode of TCD News. In today's episode, we're going to be going through two action figures. And in this episode, we're talking about the Loot Crate Loot Launchers. I don't know if you know what Loot Launcher is. If you go through Loot Crate and you go to Google and type in Loot Launcher, they have about 10 different toys that they got fundings for that are they're trying to fund to come out with. So the two major ones I'm going to go through, I'll tell you what they all have. They got Kid Robot, uh, first Godzilla exclusive crate. Um, now, I don't know if you guys know this, but NECA actually just bought the rights to Loot Crate. So now NECA actually owns Loot Crate. So they got Kid Robot versus Godzilla. Then they got Kid Robot Kaju Battle Set. And then they got WizKids Board Game Crate. And Wits Kids Dungeon Masters crate, and what it is, and then the last two that they have are the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie 30th anniversary crate, and the NECA Gremlins dress up and play figure crate. So the two crates I'll go through are the the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Gremlin because that's the one I'm really interested in, and. What it is is that they're trying to reach a goal and they're trying to get 3,000 people from what I see to buy the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles box crate. And what it is is in the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 30th anniversary crate. Uh, I'll read what it says here. Right now they're at 55% of backers. So they're at 1,632 people that have backed the crate. And there's 32 days left, so people get on it if you want this. If You won't be charged if they do not get all the backing for the funding of the toy. So only way you'll get charged is if all the backers sign up for it. So it says, celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie with exclusive collectibles and gear. So Kawabunga, 30 years ago... The heroes in a half shell took the world by storm with the 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. And we're celebrating with an exclusive assortment of limited edition Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle gear. The crate includes an exclusive spirit of Splinter action figure not available anywhere else. It stands over six feet tall. I mean six feet. Sorry, guys. It stands over six inches tall and is fully posable with special iridescent paint applications, cloth robe, and LED campfire base to recreate one of the film's most iconic scenes. I am proud of you, my sons. Tonight, you will will have learned the final and greatest truth of a ninja. What else? An epic assortment of other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie collectibles and accessories. Plus, no anchovies. And we mean no anchovies. You find anchovies in this thing and someone's in big trouble, okay? So, that's what it says for the loot launcher for the Master Splinter, Spirit of Splinter action, NECA action figure that they're talking about. The... The fire looks pretty cool. It's blue and it's LED. I'll try getting it should pop up right here if I can get it. And then the next one that we're looking at is the NECA Gremlin dress up and play figure. NECA presents a limited edition Gremlins figure with two new exclusive outfits. Now with this one, this has 32 days left people and only has 323 backers. Um... I don't think that this one is going to make it. It would be nice if it did, but it's looking like it probably won't. And what this one says is, don't get him wet. Keep him out of the bright light and never feed him after midnight. Oh, you already broke all of those rules? Well, get ready for mayhem with the Gremlins dress up and play figure. This six inch Gremlin figure features two brand new exclusive outfits, a flasher raincoat, with detailed buttons and waist belt and a flash dancer outfit featuring a sweatshirt and leg warmers. Plus, you also get an assortment of brand new accessories including a poker chip pile, bow tie, visor, mallet, hand puppet, fedora, bonus interchangeable hands, sunglasses, frosty mug, cigarettes, and playing cards 
to further accessorize your gremlin collection. That sounds like a lot of nice accessories for that one, man. It would be nice if they came out with that one for the exclusive Loot Crate. I just got back into Loot Crate because NECA bought it, and I want to see what it's like since NECA bought it and how good it's going to be of a Loot Crate. So I am really hoping to get some nice stuff. I really hope that they at least come with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Spirit of Splinter because I'm a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. The Gremlin would be great too. It sounds like a dope toy. Hopefully they get it back, but like I said, the Gremlin is only at 11% of its goal with 32 days left, and the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, 30th Anniversary crate is at 55%. So here's to hoping that they can get those two toys rolling. Uh, so that's it for this episode, man. I'll hit you guys back with TCD news soon. Uh, anything that comes out, I'll try getting you guys the information as fast as possible. I'm going to start it on pops and comic books very soon. Just trying to get the ball rolling with everything. So until the next episode, like always, like, share, and subscribe. This is the Collection Dimension and TCD news. We out. Peace. Peace.